Hi, I am Kilal Ala from Al Zebra. In this episode, we are going to talk about the impact of the design change carried out in the walkway. July 17, 1981, Hyatt Regency Hotel in Kansas City, USA. There was a party on the hotel lobby. A lot of people were assembled and the celebration was on. Suddenly, the walkway collapsed, killing 16 people on the spot. Let us see what happened. The walkway consists of three floors. However, for the sake of simplicity, I have shown only two floors. Let us see how the walkway was connected to the ceiling. From the ceiling, there was hanging a row of long steel rods to hold the three walkways one below the other. Each walkway was supported by the nuts underneath. The nuts were designed to support the loads of each walkway and the payloads above them. The same holds true for all the walkways. However, the street of Kansas City was narrow that was difficult to bring such long rods through. Hence, the engineers hatched the plan and changed the design. The change goes like this. They split the rods into two halves so that the transportation would be made easier and thus they changed the design. Let's get into the details. The nuts under the walkway were designed to support only the walkway they were attached to. They were independent of other walkways. After the change, the lower half of the rod was connected to the walkway above it and so was the lower walkway by new design. Thus, the original design was modified as shown at the right side of you. Let's get into the newly changed design. The short rod hangs from the ceiling. It holds the walkway 2. The nut under the walkway 2 supports the walkway 2 and the payload of the walkway 2 as well. So far so good. Now the next rod is connected to the walkway 2 to hold the walkway 1 with a similar old nut which is shown in pink color. Under the walkway 1, another nut is connected to support the walkway 1 and its payload. This nut supports the walkway 1 loads firmly. Here's the problem. The walkway 2 holds the loads of the walkway 1, but its nut under it was designed originally to support only the loads of walkway 2. Can the nuts of walkway 2 support the loads of walkway 1 and 2? No. On the fateful day at 7 pm. The party was on high spirit. There were 20 people on the walkway 2 and 40 on the walkway 1 enjoying the party held at the lobby. Unable to withstand the load, the nuts under the walkway 2 gave way and deformed. The walkways collapsed killing 20 people. How can it happen? How come the design engineers did not carry out the analysis after the design changes? The answer is negligence or overconfidence. I have gone through thousands of design failures past 20 years. Most of them, I can even say more than 90% of them failed not due to design complexities nor technological difficulties but due to simple design missteps. Thank you.